questionable energy drinks should not be your productivity hack as an entrepreneur. Guilty. <laughs> drink questionable energy drinks, work 18 hours a day, wake up at 4 a.m., don't sleep, hustle all the time, or not. <laughs> I am a mother of two amazing children. I value my sleep. I love to travel. I may or may not have ADHD, but I definitely have some distraction in focus, executive function issues that I work through and I'm just not that interested in killing myself for some elusive destination of success. So what actually works to stay productive and sane as an entrepreneur? I'm gonna share that here in this video. My name is Kate Putnam. I'm a psychology-driven brand strategist, and here on this channel, we talk about all things branding, psychology, and entrepreneurship. If those topics are interesting to you, I would love if you subscribed and stuck around. And speaking of sticking around, if you continue to watch to the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing you the behind the scenes of my actual Notion CEO dashboard that has been a humongous help for me. And I'm gonna share how you can either make one for yourself or you can just get my template if that sounds better. My top six productivity hacks. I'm totally doing that for the algorithm. I don't love that language at all, but apparently it ranks really high in, in the searches. So let's talk about this, but let's talk about it in a way that is not geared towards 17 year old children, but real humans with real businesses who want to get stuff done, but not kill themselves in the process. Let's get to it. First trick or hack that I use is I commit before I sit. I don't know if it's just me, but if I sit down without a plan in front of my computer, I will get sucked into this endless rabbit hole of checking my email, checking my different stats, looking to see if somebody watched my Instagram story or reel, and the list goes on. Like I can spend all day on my computer or on my phone without getting anything actually done. In order to combat this, I need to make sure I know exactly what my priority is and I commit to doing that thing first before I do anything else. This has been massive and such an amazing way to reduce anxiety and feelings of angst because I know that if I at least get one thing done, that first thing done that I committed to before I sat down for the day to work, that I've done something productive. I have moved the needle in some way. So commit before you sit. Second is kind of related and it's to reduce your expectations. <laughs> there has been all sorts of different quotes about this. People overestimate what they can get done in a day and they underestimate what they can get done in 10 years or a year, whatever time frame we're looking at. I like to condense my goals down to a single key task. I've tried this with three tasks. I've tried this with five to eight tasks. It seems like the more goals, the more things I put on my to-do list. Every once in a while I have a day where I just like knock everything out and I feel like a freaking rock star, but more often than not, I feel bad at the end of the day because I didn't get everything done. So if I just commit to one key task that I know is going to make the biggest impact on my business and my bottom line, and if I get that one thing done, I can end the day feeling great. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna work on smaller things, but again, Commit before you sit to that one key task and you will be amazed at how much your business grows, how productive you are in retrospect when you're looking back. Like, how, how can I be productive with just one thing? One thing, 1% 1 change over a year is 3,000% improvement. <laughs> if you want the more articulate version of this idea, read Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's an amazing book and he talks about this 1% movement or production over a course of time and the massive impact it can make. The book is incredible. But just believe me on this. Choose one thing, commit to doing that. Feel great if you get that one thing done. Third thing is to look at your business like a system. If you have more than one thing on your list, it's time to take a look at it, delegate, delete, or automate. What can you delegate to somebody else? If you don't have a somebody else, I highly encourage you to get a somebody else. 
to help you get more stuff done. It's like a magical productivity hack. Like hire a virtual assistant, <laughs> hire an employee, hire a team as much as you can afford. It is magical. There's even like small virtual assistant agencies where you don't even have to pay hardly anything and you can start to delegate some small tasks. What can you delete off of your list? What can you quarantine in what I call your good idea fairy list? So like, what's a really good idea, but you don't have to do it right now, or you just can't do it right now because you need to prioritize. So delete or just stick it into this beautiful, good idea fairy list land so that you can have the sense of relief that you're not gonna forget it, it's not going away. You can do it sometime, you can absolutely do this really great idea that you had, but you're just not gonna do it today. And then finally, what can you automate? So what is on your list that could have been an automatic system that just happened in your business? So if you have to send a kickoff kit to your new client, how can you make that a template email? Or how can you even make that an automatic email that goes out because you've set it up in your automation software that you're using, whether that's your email software or Zapier or whatever it is, how can you do something once that's going to make all of your future days easier? Delegate, delete, automate. Productivity hack number four is to fuel yourself first. It is really hard to be productive if you haven't slept or if you haven't drank water in the last 17 days or if you are eating like crap. Chances are, if you're dealing with a lack of productivity day after day after day, there are fundamental things that are not being taken care of. I might get some pushback from that, but I know it's true for me. If I am in an extended stint of not feeling good and not getting stuff done, it's because I'm not taking care of myself. So how can you sharpen the ax, so to say? How can you improve the vessel that you're asking to be so productive? Go to bed earlier, hydrate, swap the peanut butter crackers from your kid's snack trove for something veggie based. I'm speaking to myself here, but make good choices, especially for a couple days in a row and start to notice how much more productive you are. All the time management in the world isn't going to save you if you feel like crap. Productivity hack number five is to put yourself on an information diet. Sometimes we spend a lot of time doing things that feel productive, like learning or researching or planning, and we don't actually get things done that are moving the needle. So put yourself on an information diet, make it a short-term thing. I'm just gonna avoid Reddit or Instagram or whatever your poison is for a day or three days and focus on the things that I can do right now. It's amazing how much more time we have when we're not filling it with things that don't matter. And lastly, productivity number six is that I personally have many overlapping systems that help me keep track of all of this. So one of them is my CEO dashboard in Notion. I love Notion, it is magical. I have my top vision and priorities at the top of the page so that I can remember why the heck I'm doing all of this in the first place. And then as I move down, I have lists of my good idea fairy list. I have all of the things that I could do. And then I make a point to just drag up into the current day, into the current week, the single tasks that I'm going to focus on each day. If you would like this CEO dashboard for yourself, I invite you to check out my Clarity to Scale workshop. I give it in that low cost workshop as a bonus. Plus you get an incredible workshop all about how to grow your business and some other really amazing bonuses as well. So if you want the CEO dashboard, it is in my Clarity to Scale workshop. In addition to Notion, I need physical paper. I need to have calendars. I need to have post-it notes. I need to have lists that are in front of my face. And again, this is just a weird K quirk, but I can't stick to one organization system for a long period of time. I need to bounce between notes and paper and scrap paper and Notion and all of the things. And for whatever reason, this works for me. 
So figure out what works for you. Don't feel bad if that doesn't look like what other people say that you should do to be productive. Find the thing that fits your brain, your personality, your habits, and do that. So there you have it. Those are the six hacks that I use that have massively improved my productivity. And many of these were hard lessons that I needed to learn. Hopefully this video will help you shortcut some of the angst that I have felt over the years as a kind of quirky, weird, brained entrepreneur. Which one of them are you going to try for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And if this was helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I would love if you stuck around for my future videos on branding, psychology, and entrepreneurship. And for those of you that want that CEO dashboard template, I am so excited to welcome you to the Clarity to Scale workshop. You can find the link for that in the description below. All right guys, see you next time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.